the midterm elections in the United States have played out pretty much as expected. The Republicans have regained control of the House of Representatives, but the Democrats have held on to the Senate. For analysis of what this means for Barack Obama's presidency, here is Associate Professor Brendan O'Connor from the United States Studies Centre. Today has been a very bad day for the Democratic Party in the United States and Barack Obama's presidency. The Republican Party have made major gains uh, winning control of the US House of Representatives and coming very close to winning control of the US Senate. Why has this occurred, I suppose, would be the question many people will be asking. Given that Barack Obama came to the US presidency in 2008 with enormous enthusiasm, the Democrats were in control of the House and the Senate by sizable majorities. The Obama administration is likely to point to the US economy, uh, the very poor unemployment figures, the 9.4% unemployment figures in the United States, probably explain part of the picture. But the Republicans are likely to suggest that Obama overreached, that he came in with a big government agenda, he tried to do things which were too radical, which the American people have rejected, and this has been a referendum on Barack Obama and one that he hasn't passed. I think the story is more complicated than that. The turnout is very much part of the story here, that Obama was able to get out a lot of people in 2008 to vote who don't typically vote. A lot of young people in the United States who were very enthusiastic about Obama came out in 2008 and probably didn't come out today. Uh, Hispanic voters probably didn't turn out as much as they might have in 2008 and some other minority groups. Some will say Obama will need to change his style after this election, that he is a great communicator as a candidate, but maybe not as president, that he hasn't communicated his policies as well as he might. Others will suggest that he needs to adapt somewhat more of a common touch, that he's been a little bit too much of a policy wonk or too intellectual in his performance. Many people wouldn't have uh, predicted that two years after Obama's victory, that his party would suffer these terrible defeats. I don't think it's been an enormous embrace of the Republican Party to a degree a pox on both houses and suggestive of how uh, short public patience in some ways is with both political parties in the United States at the present time.